No. Now? Okay, hi everyone. So, um, we are back this weekend with the Fusion 7 Mystery School for the Fusion 7 Healing Transformation Series. And so, we are taking off this series with, of course, the very most important pieces of information that there are, and that is the connection codes. What does that mean? Well, it actually means to learn how to correct, um, let's say, in a way that's clean, for example, and to know exactly what it is that we are connecting to. It is of the utmost importance. If you're gonna do anything, then learn to do this. This is what you need to learn to do. Now, in the Fusion 7 Healing Mystery School, there's a myriad of ways of connecting to what is known as the primary source. So, we're always actually connecting to the very same place each and every time. But what we're learning today is the different roadmaps and the various um, approaches and ways that we can do it, because we all do have favourites. Some appeal to us more than others. There's that. And then some will say, oh, this one's much more, this approach, this highway, for example, is a lot more powerful than that one. But all it actually is, it's a matter of resonance. So it is, what is the most compatible for you? So what we're doing today is, first of all, learning how to connect, learning what we are connecting with, um, and doing this experientially, and also finding out what it is that we can heal once we've made the connection. However, I must say that the connection in and of itself is healing. Dilari, to heal the connection in a therapeutic way. So even if you weren't to do anything, even if you weren't to ever do anything else with us, just the fact that you are learning these different connection methods is going to yield a healing effect for you. And the other thing that it's going to give you as well is it's going to expand your intuitory, okay, and your consciousness and your awareness. And this is the most eloquent and precise way to do it, let's say. So let's just have a quick look on the board of, you know, what the different methods are called. So obviously there's seven of them, fusion, seven, fusion. <laughs> so yeah, there are seven methods, but there's actually loads of them, to, to be fair. Um, and I'm always developing new ones as well. So what I've done is made a compilation of seven of them for you that you can enjoy on this day and that you can take away with you it's all in your manuals you can take it home and use it to practice with so you can get a good clean connection so that the information that you are getting from that connection is actually more precise and targeted okay so the name of the seven connections are the first few are related to brain waves and then the last few aren't necessarily all right so the first ones are the delta brainwave, the lambda brainwave, the epsilon brainwave, and then from four and after that, we've got the different methods for us, okay? So we've got the alchemical, we've got the jamais vu, we have the trance, and we have the solfeggio and Schumann frequencies. And then after we go through all of those, so we're gonna get a feel how each of those actually feels, after we get through all of those, we're then going to do an introduction to investigation. So once you are actually in that connection, we're going to see what you can gauge about yourself. Yeah? What are the imbalances? What are the disturbances? Where do I go? And how to choose them intuitively in a place of priority so you don't get lost in the sea of esoterica and metaphysics because it's very easy to get lost. So the other thing that we're going to learn today is how to do things in priority. So you know you've done that, tick, next, next in priority, this, tick, next. So you learn to work more clinically correctly. If clinically is the correct clinical term to use, I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's going to wrap up everything for this day and tomorrow we're going to be here again where we're going to explore extensively how to work and heal 
the harmonic focal points or the chakra system. So I'll see you tomorrow.